This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. So those of you that regularly watch my channel know that I like to discuss the various in-game weapons in both the Fallout and Borderlands games. I don't think it would be right if I didn't make a video discussing some of the best weapons in Doom's single player mode. Now, before we get into this list, I'm not going to include either the BFG or Chainsaw, as both of those weapons are pretty much insta-kill weapons and are technically better than all of the weapons on this list. For example, the Chainsaw lets you insta-kill one enemy provided you have enough ammo for it, and the BFG will pretty much insta-kill every enemy in a small area that encompasses the blast radius provided again that you have ammo for it so with all of that out of the way these are going to be what i think are the top seven best guns weapons and attachments in doom 2016 single player mode number seven the combat shotgun what the combat shotgun has going for it is that you can choose between two different attachments. The first is a charged burst attachment, which decreases the projectile spread, making the shots more accurate. Uh, and then the second is a grenade launcher, which fires a grenade at an enemy. However, I don't like it because um, you can actually hurt yourself with that grenade. Um, the super shotgun, on the other hand, has no attachments, and that is worth mentioning, especially since early on in the game, the combat shotgun is probably going to be better. However, later on, the super shotgun will probably be better. Um, of the two attachments, I kind of said this earlier, I think the charged burst is better since the grenade launcher can again hurt you if you're too close to the blast. Though, I think you can negate this somewhat depending on how you upgrade your Praetor suit. Um, overall, use this until you can get the Super Shotgun fully maxed out. Uh, however, once you do get the Super Shotgun fully maxed out, uh, you don't even really need to use the combat shotgun anymore. So I guess in summary, this is going to be a really great early game weapon, but after that, and once you've got the Super Shotgun, you could totally stop using the combat shotgun. Number 6, the Plasma Rifle with the Stun Bomb attachment. In Doom's multiplayer mode, I really like the alternative radiation bomb that you can use to deal a little bit more damage per second. Um, I see why they changed this into the radiation bomb, as the plasma rifle with a stun bomb would have been incredibly overpowered when combined with a shotgun, because you could simply stun an enemy and then unload on them with that shotgun and just kill them every time. What's so great about the stun bomb attachment is that it allows you to stun enemies, which opens them up to a wide variety of attacks. And I think for that reason, the stun bomb is better than the alternative attachment uh, which creates this AoE attack around your playable character or the Doom guy. Um, so, for example, you can use the Stun Bomb to stun a really tough enemy and then switch to one of your more powerful weapons to simply unload on that enemy until it dies or it gets staggered so you can go in for that glory kill. Between both attachments for the Plasma Rifle, I would say that you should definitely go with the Stun Bomb for this reason. Number five, the Assault Rifle with Micro Missiles. So if I told you you could have a Micro Missile Launcher on your Assault Rifle or you could have a Scope, which would you choose? Now, I think most of you would want the Micro Missiles. Uh, so the Assault Rifle is not only a great alternative to the pistol for scoring headshots up against some of the weaker enemies in the game, but with the Micro Missile attachment, you can easily fight and take out some of the more medium-sized enemies like Hell Knights and even Revenants. Once you manage to fully upgrade the Micro Missile attachment, you can not only activate this particular ability faster, but you can fire indefinitely until you run out of ammo. And it's worth mentioning that there are runes in the game that provide if you have enough armor, you have infinite ammo, so theoretically, you could just fire this thing forever if you wanted to. Number four, the Gauss Cannon with the Precision Bolt Attachment. So, sort of like the Vortex Rifle in Doom's multiplayer, the Gauss Cannon with the Precision Bolt is like your sniper weapon that charges as you aim down the sight. Uh, this is in contrast to the Siege Attachment, which allows you to deal way more damage 
However, you can't move unless you fully maxed out that siege attachment, and that can be a real problem up against some of the enemies in the game. Um, this is a useful weapon to use up against a couple of different bosses in the game. The Gauss Cannon is really good up against the Cyber Demon, uh, the Hell Guards, and even the game's final boss. I'd also say that the Precision Bolt attachment for the Gauss Cannon is really good up against some of the larger mob enemies like your Mancubus enemies or your Barons of Hell enemies, as a couple of headshots from the Gauss Cannon will kill them fairly quickly. Number three the chain gun with the mobile turret attachment. So the chain gun with the mobile turret upgrade is amazing. What this essentially does is turns the chain gun into a triple barreled minigun. And in my humble opinion, a triple minigun is better than a chain gun barrel that you can spin before you fire it, which by the way, is the alternative attachment for the chain gun. With the right runes, like the rich get richer, you can give this thing, along with all of the other weapons, aside from like the chainsaw and the BFG, you can give them infinite ammo, and this allows you, specifically with the mobile turret attachment, to pretty much cheese most large powerful enemies, like barons, uh, the mancubus enemies, and those really pesky caca demons that fly around and can be quite difficult to hit. Um, as a quick side note, uh, Bethesda, I want a triple minigun in Fallout 4. Um, I also want a triple minigun in the next Borderlands gearbox. Make it happen, because it will be amazing if you put a triple minigun in your game. If I was a game reviewer, I would give Doom a triple minigun out of 10. Number two, the super shotgun. Once you acquire the super shotgun and max it out to its fullest potential, there's not even any point in using the standard combat shotgun that you get at the very beginning of the game. And this is because a fully maxed out super shotgun goes from firing two projectiles per shot to just one while retaining its damage and also gains the ability to fire twice before you have to reload both shots. Where the combat shotgun can kill most possessed soldiers and imps in like two to three shots or so, the super shotgun can kill them both in just one shot. Uh, Hell Knights can be killed in about three to four on ultra violence difficulty. And a bit of a small spoiler here, but you can easily defeat the Hellguard boss by using the super shotgun. Not only does it deal more damage to these enemies, but it also appears that you can stun the boss with this particular weapon. So overall, this is gonna be the best shotgun in both single player and multiplayer modes. And finally, number one the rocket launcher with the lock-on burst detachment. So like the assault rifle, if you had to choose between rockets that lock on and fire in a burst shot or a remote detonator, which would you choose? Um, the lock-on burst detachment makes the rocket launcher great up against pretty much all enemies in this game. Those go from like your standard mob enemies to your bosses and beyond. Um, one of the problems with the rocket launcher, though, is properly judging when you need to fire the rocket in order to score on a direct hit. And this is a real problem if you're going up against something like a Kaka Demon, which flies in the air and moves around a lot and has a decent amount of health and can be difficult to kill. Now, with the lock-on burst attachment, all you have to do is simply lock on, fire and forget, and then it just dies. Um, this is a great weapon to use up against bosses and tougher mob enemies for that reason, and specifically, this is really good up against the Summoner, which has a tendency to move around quite a lot and can be very difficult to hit, especially with that standard rocket launcher projectile. Um, now, of course, the other problem with this is that you consume a lot of ammo when you use the lock-on burst mode. However, if you do have runes like the rich get richer, provided you have a certain armor count, uh, you'll never consume ammo, so this shouldn't be a problem in that situation. Uh, once you get the rocket launcher, I definitely recommend that you get the lock-on burst attachment as soon as possible. You aren't going to regret it. Anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. And as always, take care, and I'll see you all next time.